Like the teeth of a world dragon, half swallowed by the sea, the sheer cliffs of the Faroe Islands claw their way free of the ocean. The breath of life that clings to the top of each island and fjord births the mists that almost perpetually cover the land. Windswept and surrounded by salty seas, the islands are perpetually refreshed and cleansed by life-giving rain. You'll often hear the Faroe Islands described as a place very similar to Iceland, Norway, or Scotland. While it shares the same treeless drama and echoes of magnificent cliffs and seascapes, it is its own entity and experience entirely. In many ways, you see the relative youth of the islands and the profound violence of their birth and the residual crispness of each majestic cliff. There are few black sand beaches, and the tides that surge between the islands give birth to dramatic currents that, as viewed from high above a suspended bridge or cliff, have echoes of Scylla and Charybdis. Harbors and safe ports throughout the islands were often less a beach and more a small cove that would protect from the crashing waves just long enough to hoist a small fishing craft 20 feet or more up and out of harm's way. While the modern Faroe Islands are largely connected by undersea tunnels or bridges, many islands are still only accessible by helicopter or ferry. With the weather's violent and unpredictable nature, reaching these can be a challenge. Ferries are often cancelled, helicopters grounded due to wind or fog. Roughly the same size as Scotland's Isle of Skye, the Faroe Islands are packed with incredible vistas, inspiring hikes, and unusual geological formations. These help contribute to what makes it so mesmerizing. The island of Mykonos stands vigil as the Faroe Islands' most westward point. Split between dramatic 500 plus meter high cliffs and more gentle weather-worn sea cliffs with slanted grassland, it serves as the primary nesting ground for the country's puffin colony. With fewer than 100 visitors a day, it's a rare gem. As we hiked westward, we were immediately greeted by thousands of puffins, many of which tolerated our presence just a few feet away. The chance to watch them in their quirky, awkward grace, beaks full of fish, was a dream come true. It also pulled straight from the pages of National Geographic. The hike to Meekness Holmer Lighthouse was a rare gift, as the weather allowed passage and flat seas meant we enjoyed dramatic views out over the ocean. The ever-changing nature of the Faroe Islands weather is every bit as important as any set location to visit. Within minutes, winds change, the rain comes, clouds form or dissolve.
The island's countless waterfalls are either invigorated and given fresh life, or dry up and fade into the black rock and green peat blanket that covers the countryside, leaving behind only scars. One of the most dramatic and memorable moments for us was the sunset at Vidareti, on the island of Vidoy, in the Faroe Islands Far East. There, the fjord between islands offers an incredible westward view, framed by steep cliffs of the nearby mountains and with a glimpse down past the tips of the islands of Bordoy, Kunoy, and Kalsoy. The clouds opened up, horizontal rays of golden light shone down the fjord, and we found ourselves in the landscape bathed in the most vibrant mixture of warm light imaginable. It was unlike any sunset I've seen before, and as it stretched on, we made our way past the seaside church and down to the water's edge. There we watched in wonder as wave after wave of fresh colors, from golds to purples and deep blues, revealed the landscape. The deep, cold ocean water brings with it rich blues that stand in stark contrast to the pure whites of the sea foam. It is only fitting that the pharaohs still speak the language of their Viking forefathers. With a rich history of nearly 1500 years of human habitation, the raw and dramatic nature of the Faroe Islands offers a glimpse into the landscapes that inspired the great sagas. It is a land of magic, a land of mystery. It is an island straight from the storybooks, and one that will forever remain bathed in mist and fog, beckoning with its own siren's call to curious explorers and adventurers alike.